Hope you guys are doing great. Today is a quick tutorial on creating special effects using plugins in Photoshop. This type of tutorials will be uploaded more often. So if you are new here kindly like and subscribe to my channel. Number 1. Creating Muzzle Flash Effects. I'm gonna be using this image, now we'll convert to smart filter so I can make changes in the future, or work non-destructive. We'll go to the filter menu then Boris FX then optics. Here we'll choose the render option. Then muzzle flash. After I click, there is going to be some preset found on the right hand side of the program. We'll choose one preset and try modifying using the parameter options. Different gun presets can also be found. I can rotate, or even spin the effect to sweep the location I want to place it. So let me try modifying this preset. Hey yo, I wrote the shit up all day, a long stay in the hallway, harking back to an era of the tape play, hitting on the track well, on the max cell, with the spitting the beginning of a rap tale, a last to scoop the loop shine vividly, in due time, and for the longest caught the blinking of the torment, till England of performance still thinking of his dormant, and so it be, who hold close and kept dear, we're left there, I think this look like okay, we'll hit the done button. Now I'm done creating this effect within some minutes. Remember this is a smart filter, so I can later adjust the settings anytime I want. Number 2. Creating Glow Effect. This is a ninja. Adding some glow to his blade will look awesome, let's do this. We'll quickly make a selection of the blade and fill with solid color. We'll always convert into a smart filter. Then I go to filter, alien skin software, then I candy 7. We'll choose this glow option, then select any preset, and adjust the settings. So let me adjust the settings. I think this looks okay. We'll hit on the OK button, to confirm the changes. We'll use linear doff add blending mode. The glow seems too much. Let me go back, and adjust the settings. Since it's a smart filter, we'll quickly go, and adjust the glow settings.
who we are, whether recognizing loved ones, recalling past joys, or just remembering how to drink, walk, and talk, and fry an egg. Memory is the chain that connects our past to our present. So try your hands on this plugin. Take your time to add highlights to make it even look better. Number 3. Creating Glow Moon. Now convert and send this image into Boris Optics. Now we'll select Render Option then Luna. On the right hand side is a set of presets. We'll choose one preset and adjust the parameter. We were just kids up to no good. Remember the first time you watched boys in the hood? Rat tail in the back while my barber faced me. Do you remember when? Yes, no, remember maybe. You were the end song you liked, and you felt like it was about your life. Remember when? You would write a letter to your girlfriend, and she would read it to all of her girlfriends. Remember staying up for all night. I think it's okay, let me apply the changes. Okay to have more control. We'll create a black solid layer and convert into a smart filter. Let me apply the previous preset. We'll now change the blending mode to screen. Now I can change the color or move it around. Lastly, how to create this bulk effect. Create a black solid layer or convert into a smart filter. Then send to Boris Optics. We'll select the render option again, then night sky. We'll select the default preset, then we'll adjust the settings. Now we'll confirm changes and add a lens gear blur to the image. We'll adjust the highlight settings to increase more of the lights. Then we'll confirm the settings. Now we'll change the blending mode to screen. If the effect seems less, always duplicate the layer to increase the effects. So that's it guys, this was a quick one. If you learned something new, kindly give me a thumbs up in the comments section. Hope you like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new uploads. Peace.